your show premieres on Monday on Nickelodeon. What are you going to do to watch it? Are you going to like get all your friends and family with some popcorn? Are you going to just not watch it and see what people think about it later? What do you think? I think we're going to try to watch it together somehow. I think we have to. On Monday, I think I'm probably going to have like a few friends and again, maybe some pizza and just watch it. I'm just chilling in my like PJs or onesies. <laughs> is it hard for you to watch yourselves or is that pretty easy to do? At first it was hard because I thought my voice, because I'm from the south so sometimes my accent comes out and I'm like, oh I sound like that. I sound like Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> but it's okay. Now I'm, I've got used to it and I, I love watching, like not love watching myself, but it's, it's fun. okay. You can admit it's fun it. to watch myself. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoy it a lot and sometimes I'm just like, that's what it looks like because when you're filming it, you don't see what the camera sees. So it's just kind of like, wow, that's what that scene looked like and it's exciting. I'm still getting used to it, but it's it's a little weird to look at your face for sure. Compare and contrast your characters with yourselves. How are you similar and how are you different? I would rather play video games and I think Tess would rather read books. But I think that me and her are very sarcastic and very uh, witty at times and um, also we, I think we have a lot in common with the family. Like she really loves her siblings and I, I really love my family and my brother so I, I like that about her and I think we have that in common. She seems like a little bit of a tomboy. Are you the same way in your own life? Um, yes. I would rather wear like combat boots than heels to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think the same with, with the family that Meme said. Like I, when I find you know people or friends or whatever it is that I really feel like I relate to, I'll do anything to keep us together. I think that's pretty much the same that he's, hey, as he does in the show for sure. And how are you different? He's pretty much afraid of anything. And I think I'm not really, not really. He's looking at me like, yeah, you are. I think you get scared very easily. I think you're a lot like Max. Just, that's my opinion. I know that Kira scares you a lot. That she plays Annika and she's always jumping in. You like hide in like these small little containers or whatever and just pop out. It's like a little like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm afraid of Kira. You, you caught me. Is he afraid of like phobia kind of things? A lot of fears? Uh, Is that what you're talking about? No, it's mostly like the dark and like spiders and like regular fears. And do you have those fears as well? I won't go near a spider. That's like, yeah. For sure. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh God, maybe I am. I just like this guy. Well, cast. If you were real life siblings, foster or related, either way, you're in the same house, same family. What would annoy you about each other, and what would you be like? I'm so glad that we're siblings because of this. I honestly love everything about them. I love like all their little things they say, and like, you know, I love like Kira, and like, I, yeah, I love all of them. What about with you too? One thing that th like Tess gets angry about with Max is like he doesn't think before he does stuff sometimes and like that really can affect things like and even though she does get aggravated she still understands it and she forgives him like forgives him obviously because it's her brother and she loves him but yeah I think that's one thing that she does like get aggravated with and she's just kind of like oh but are you saying in real life that that would happen? Um not really I think we're actually we get along a lot more than our characters. I think for sure yeah. Definitely. She's really independent, and I think that's good to have, like, because I often do things that I probably shouldn't do, and it's nice to have people that are like, you shouldn't do that, you know? It's not a good thing to do, so that'd be cool, yeah. In your own words, what would you think we're going to love about this show? The mysteries, it's every five minutes or something new, and it really keeps your, keeps your attention, for sure. All the clues, honestly, kind of like what he's saying, like, really, I think the clues are really going to get everyone, and they're just going to be like, wow, that's there? Like, who even thinks about that? Like, like in the way that we figure out things, like the kids do, and the maps, and you know, I don't want to give anything away, really, but yeah, I think that's something. And without giving it away, after you find your parents, does the mystery continue? Like, is it a continuous adventure, or is it just until you reach your parents? Don't find our parents. Oh, yeah. oh, what you're talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um. So we gotta tune in and find out what's gonna happen. <laughs> Hi, May May here and Stony, and make sure to check out Hunter Street on Nickelodeon March 13th at 7. Watch it. Yeah. For more, go to justinemagazine.com. It's a great website.